Good morning, saints of God. We are grateful to the Lord for the privilege to come before Him and to learn from His Word important life lessons to improve every area and facet of our lives. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we graciously come to you. We pray that, Lord, let the heavens be open over us. Let the spirit of wisdom and understanding be given unto us as we delve into the scripture. May someone be blessed. May the word begin to unlock keys of the kingdom of God. By your mercy and by your grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, um, still in a month of focus where we are focusing on Daniel. Uh, we are looking at living out our kingdom purposes and today we are zooming in into developing your gifts developing your gifts um, we know that daniel was a man who was diligent in prayer in fasting and exceptional ability in, in interpretation of dreams and he himself having encounters. Um, someone will say, why? Why should you develop your gifts? The book of First Timothy chapter 4. We see Paul advising Timothy. Uh, as a young up and coming bishop. That let no man. So this is from verse 12. He says, let no man despise your youth. And a lot of people use that. And they end it there. But they don't know that there's a semicolon there explaining the things that should be done. That be an example of believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in purity, in faith, and in spirit. Then he says something. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. So, Paul is tying his discipline and meditation and all that he has said, giving attendance to reading, exhortation, and to doctrine, etc. And saying that if he is able to give himself up and dedicate himself to these things, people will see his prophets, people will see the reason, something special about him, that he will stand out in the crowd. People who stand out in the crowd are people who have developed their gifts. The word develop, um, the English dictionary says, to grow or cause to grow and become more mature or advanced in a thing. So that is one of the reasons why we have the podcast because we want to stir up something, provoke something within your spirit man. A causation to grow so that I become more mature. So we need to cause whatever God given ability and gift that he has bestowed upon us we need to grow it we need to mature in it we don't want to be like the ungrateful servant that jesus spoke about in matthew 25 so that deals basically with the why and when we look at when we zoom into um, our character study for the man daniel we see daniel growing exponentially in his grace and the gift God has given to him you see in Daniel 1 17 and Daniel 1 20 the Bible says as for these four children God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams so you can clearly see that even the fact that there was Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel. The Bible singles out Daniel, saying that he had understanding in all visions and all dreams, not some. 
So there is a place in God where you have understanding in all visions and all dreams. Like the gift that God has given you, you have understanding in every aspect. When you look at verse 20, it says that, And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better. The gift and the grace that was given unto Daniel made him ten times better than other people. We see the beginning of his journey in understanding of all dreams and visions. When in Daniel chapter 2, uh, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and he told the astrologers and the wise men that, Look, tell me what the dream is and explain to me the dream that I had. Now this is wonderful because it's only the Spirit of God that can give you insight and even reveal to you what someone's dream is and to even interpret it accurately. We see in Daniel 2.16, Daniel meeting Ariok because there was a, a decree that every wise man should be eliminated. The Bible says, And Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made a thing known to Ananiah, Michelle, and Nazariah, his companions, that they would desire the message of God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night's vision. Then Daniel blessed the name of the God of heaven. We see Daniel asking and requesting for time to interpret the dream shared with his colleagues and the bible says he would desire the message of god and we know daniel as a man of prayer and within the night the interpretation was given to him this is daniel as a young man when you read daniel chapter 5 from verse 23 to 30 we see an interesting incident and an encounter where Belshazzar, who was killed, um, a hand appeared and wrote on the wall due to the abominations and etc. that they had been committing. The Lord judged them. But when Daniel was invited, he almost immediately he began to interpret what's the handwriting on the wall was let's read from verse 23 of daniel chapter 5 he says this son o belshazzar has not humbled thy heart although you knew these things but you have lifted up yourself against the lord of heaven you have brought the vessels of his house before thee and thou and thy lords and thy wives and your concubines have drunk wine in them and have Praise the gods of silver, of gold, of brass, of iron, of wood, of stone, which you do not see, nor hear, or know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and who, whose all thy ways you have not glorified. Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this is the writing that was written. Many, many take a person. The interpretation of the thing is this. Many, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Take up. Thou has been weighed in the balances and has been found wanting. Paris, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. And almost immediately, this word of the law was fulfilled in the life of Bel- Belshazzar. Where that night, he was killed and another took his place. Developing your gift saves you time. We see Daniel 1, 17 to 20, where, uh, I mean Daniel chapter 2, sorry, verse 16 to 20, where Daniel asked for time to pray, to know, and to gain insight into what the Lord had said. Then we see in Daniel chapter 5, a different case. He is called and immediately the interpretation 
to to what the issue is is immediately given to him so we see growth we see people who uh, or a person who has grown in the grace and has developed and matured his gift to the point that truly he's a man who understands all visions and dreams all visions and all dreams and if you i mean one of the things that the lord is leaving to say right now is the one is a many many take up person that's why i should not despise speaking in tongues because one word many god has numbered your kingdom and has finished it you know so it shows that one word look at the interpretation tickle one word so don't despise speaking in tongues and don't think you are saying whatever a one syllable tongue so uh, it's a problem it's not a problem not speaking to men you're speaking to god so the scripture says so the scripture says our our before i end and we pray i want to give an example um, of something that occurred i mean in real life and why you should develop when your gifts and not just leave it at a low level so i mean uh, part of my hobbies I, I, I like to watch football and growing up um i think even before university there were two players in portugal who were being talked about consistently one was cristiano ronaldo everybody knows him second was Ric- ricardo quaresma quaresma at that time was seen much more of a talent than cristiano ronaldo he was seen as the next best big thing the next eusebio etc but what was the difference now no one knows ricardo quaresma and everybody knows cristiano ronaldo both gifted but we see the dedication and the press and the continuous discipline despite the fact that charisma was even more talented than cristiano ronaldo he slept on his gifts he didn't develop his gift and the results are clearly there to see to be seen like i mentioned meditate on these things like the book of timothy has mentioned neglect do not neglect these things give yourself wholly to them that your profiting might appear to all i pray for you that number one you'll be a man of prayer like daniel was when he was in the palace in the babylonian kingdom you will practice 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 bible says by reason of use practice your gifts that is not a flash of light what just came to your mind is a divine idea don't neglect it you know develop your the grace and the gift that god has given to you you had a vision it was not a flash of light i'm telling you just just meditate on it just pray on it do not neglect it so that your profiting will appear to us so that you will save others like daniel did to his friends and even the wise men of babylon by the heart of the lord i pray for you that god shall help and strengthen you that you begin to use what the lord has given to you that you develop it that you mature it that to save you and your household by the hand of God in Jesus name God bless you